Welcome to Global Music Mayhem, where it's all about the music. Hi guys, welcome back for another reaction video. I am headed back into Sweden by way of Orbit Culture for another try of their music. Uh, you know, when I put out the reaction for Carvings, I said in the video that you know, I didn't think that maybe they were the best thing coming out of Sweden right now, just because there are so many great bands in Sweden. Uh, I mean, when you look at the metal bands and the metal bands per ratio of, you know, your nation and cities and whatever you're looking at, the whatever demographic you're looking at, Sweden and Norway, they, Finland, they have this unfair share of the metal bands that are so great in one locale, right? <laughs> Like you just turn your head and there's another great band. Oh, hey, hey, you're another great band. And oh, hey, yeah, you too, right? So that's the, you know, I think that that's the thing. And I think people who like Orbit Culture that watched that video kind of got where I was coming from because there are just so many great bands to be had all over the Nordic region. Even over in Iceland, there are some killer bands in Iceland, you guys. There's just this thing. The Nordic people have this great grasp of metal. Yeah, and we just enjoy it and absorb it. <laughs> so so anyway, you guys came back and commented on that video and said that you thought maybe Carvings was not the place I should have started and maybe I should have gone back a little further. And uh, quite a few of you said maybe I should go back and check out the video for Saw. So that's what I'm going to do. Their 2018 release. And let's go ahead and check them out. For those of you who are just joining me today on this first check out of this video, welcome. And for all my viewers coming back, always, as always, welcome. I could not be doing this channel without you. And it wouldn't be as fun to talk about music just to myself. So it's nice to talk with you guys about music in the comments and see what you're listening to and sharing what we're all absorbing and enjoying around the world. It's how you discover new bands all the time. And I know for sure for me with this band, specifically Orbit Culture, I discovered them because of people having conversations about them. So let's just go ahead and dig into the video saw and see if it changes my opinion on maybe whether I think they're better than I thought maybe they were. Um, I mean, you'll never conclusively get me to say that I have a specific all-time favorite band from Sweden. Uh, that kind of wavers by the, the day and the album. Um, but, you know, if you want to see my thoughts on who I think are my favorites this year, my uh, albums of the year list is due at Rocknet next week, and they'll be putting those out shortly. So if you want to see what I thought was really good this year, you can catch that on rocknet.net. That's R-O-C-K-N-Y-T-T.net. I'll link that below. You guys keep an eye on their page there, and it'll let you know what I think. And then collectively, you can find out what all of us at Rocknet thought about albums out in 2021. So without further ado, let's dig into Orbit Culture. And I kind of think maybe Orbit Culture is going to show up on some of the lists on Rocknet too. So I think they're going to be watching them as well. So let's dig into Saw. Where'd they go? I had it. There it is. There we go. Let's dig into Saw now. <laughs> Sure. 
<laughs> okay, now, if you guys would have told me to start off with that video, I would say they are in my tops of the bands I want to keep an eye on out of Sweden now, because, wow, oh my god. Oh. All right, so there's all these really cool things going on throughout this video, and I'm, like, sweating, like, like, <laughs> like oh, so much going on, and I, like, couldn't stop moving around. So... All right, let's get dig into this because there's this really cool thing I kept hearing in the vocals and I don't it's the way it was the mix that came out but when he would do a lot of his lyrics you hear this this like that's like this extra breath that comes off the voice with it and it was so cool. I like that like that hollowy weird feel to it. Oh, it was so cool and then just that look that oh. <laughs> oh my god. What? Okay. Like I said, if you guys would have told me to start off with Saw, I would have totally got this band right off the bat. I think Carvings is just a little bit, it, Carvings has that kind of a tribal feel to it. It's a little different in the style. Oh gosh, this from metal. <laughs> and I need a t-shirt like that. Uh, yes. Um, was that eat, sleep, thrash? <laughs> I, I need that t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know where I'm going to be at Sweden Rock on, uh. Wednesday next year. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be over at uh, Orbit Culture Show. <laughs> wow, that was great. Okay. Yeah, you guys have convinced me. This is the band I slept on that I still don't know how their name never came up in any conversations with anyone until it just started kind of piling up on the Sweden Rock list and people were just started talking about them and then seeing friends of mine saying, hey, I really want to see Orbit Culture. And I'm like, who is this Orbit Culture? Well, wow. now I know. They are a new to me band. <laughs> Not new to some of you guys. And some of you guys roasted me on the comments too, saying that uh, somehow I, that, you know, I totally slept on that one. I, I totally slept on this band, but yeah, now I'm not going to sleep on this band anymore. But with that said, those of you who just saw this video for the first time and are coming into the Orbit Culture for the first time, what do you think of this band? What do you think of them as far as the sound of Sweden metal sound like in the comparison to other bands out there do you think you hear certain other bands in them or do you think that they're kind of they're carving their own direction out um not to play a play on carvings or anything you know like uh but you know i i want to just kind of see what you guys' opinions are do you hear other influences of that swedish sound in them or do you hear something maybe from a different region that you hear in their sound what is your take on this band and if you're not new to them where did you dive in with them with that said, I'm sure I'm going to be seeing a lot of you guys and gals out at Sweden Rock during this show. So we'll be saying hello to everybody next year when the show comes around. And until then, you know, I'm going to keep exploring some more over culture. And thanks, guys, for pointing out that I should go backwards a little further in their catalog instead of what I just had put in front of me. So with that said, all right, who knows, maybe art culture might just end up in my list where I think they're a little bit higher than where I thought maybe they were. But again, like I said... I mean, if you ever really pressed me, you know, I'd say for rock, you know, it's going to have to be somebody like iconic, like Europe. Um, and of course, pop is the Queens and the Kings ABBA. And, you know, then there's the rock sets. The, and then if you want to get into the metal, metal ways, you're going to take me, you know, of course, the Gothenburg sound is my heart. But also there's a lot of room in there for bands like Dark Funeral, Mephisto. There's so many good bands over there. Like, yeah, and I think I said Mephisto on the last reaction for Orbit Culture as well, only because I'm super excited because their new album is coming. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, but there's a lot of really good stuff coming out there, guys. And uh, yeah. So with that said, this is a win. So I'll see you guys on the next reaction video. Bye. <laughs>